from the composition of some of his successes to the controversies with Kanye West, through his mental problems and his inclusion in politics, let's see what new things Miss American taught us. The judgment, the fact that the singer had the courage to denounce a former radio DJ for harassing her unleashes a lot of events in the life of Taylor Swift. In the documentary he explains how difficult it was to tell what happened and how he took courage to do it. But the most shocking thing is how he describes the trial he went through, saying that the process dehumanizes you and recognizing that, if with witnesses, photographic evidence and the privilege of being a star, it cost a lot for the judges to believe him, for the rest of the women who go through this should be even worse. This resulted in, Taylor and politics a short time ago, Taylor got involved in the elections of Tennessee senators supporting the two Democratic candidates. This was very important news in the USA. Oh, since she had never opined on politics. The trigger was a conservative senator opposing the expansion of women's rights. In the documentary, the singer explains that, since she was a girl she was taught not to comment on those things, to avoid any topic that is controversial, giving as an example the case of the Dixie Sheiks, a group of country music singer girls who made a comment against George Bush, and both the public and the press began to treat them very very badly, ruining their careers. Taylor explains why he decided to get involved against the conservative policies of Marsha Blackburn, and how he no longer supports being told, don't mess. The talks he has with his team about his decision, and with Fab Five on how to influence people, are really very interesting. In addition, we also see how this produces the songs you need to calm down, and only the young. Free Taylor vs. Can I? Round 1 One of the most important events in Taylor's life was when he won an MTV award at age 17, and Can I West, during his speech, took the microphone from his hand, and praised Beyoncé. Being three of the world's most recognized musicians, of course, this was not overlooked. The singer and songwriter explains how difficult it was to deal with the press and the public after that, since she was very young and, until that moment, everything was praised towards her person. This search for approval from strangers led her to do and say things so they wouldn't get angry. In addition, this particular moment triggered a series of decisions that really affected his mental health. Tay of yes, can I? Round 2 yes, again both. This was a little closer the same, in 2016. Can I release in a new song that says, I made that bitch famous, in reference to Taylor Swift. She says she felt hurt, and never authorized her to say that, and Kim Kardashian released a video of the conversation between them, in which Taylor gives Can I permission, but the famous phrase is never mentioned. This ended up leading to a wave of hatred towards her in the press and social networks telling her that she was false, that she was always looking to become the victim, that it was unbearable, etc. As it happened before, this really affected Taylor because it had never happened to feel everyone against her before, so she ended up disappearing for a while. In the documentary, Taylor explains this moment from his point of view, how much it hurt her and what she was doing at that time when there was no news about her, commenting on how she shouldn't start it again from scratch, reinventing herself, we'll talk more about this below, and question a lot of things about their relationship with the public and the media. In addition, we see the moment of the composition of some of his new songs. Five beauty standards This is perhaps one of the most important things that the documentary leaves us, and it is about how Taylor Swift dealt with the demands of the press, the public, and his own team, how fame, and the pressure she generates, dominated her life to some extent, and how, little by little, she tries to be herself without the need for beauty standards to control her.